All right, just wanted to do a video addressing those who would twist Romans 14 verse 5 and take it out of context to defend the heathen custom of Christmas and claim it's covered under liberty. You know, a certain uh, internet preacher over in uh, the state of Maine likes doing that. Also, there's another uh, various internet pastor like over in uh, Texas or also there's one over in California and also one in, uh, for example, Phoenix, Arizona as well who like to uh, use a scripture and take it out of context to defend the observance of this heathen custom known as Christmas, Christ Mass, and claim it's a liberty. Oh, you have liberty to observe this custom, even though it's nowhere, no, even though it's not commended anywhere in scripture. And the internet pastors from Maine, uh, Texas, California, Arizona, Florida, you know, all these guys, they will take the scripture out of context. See, heresy comes about when you, and false doctrine comes about when you take scripture out of context and build all this other stuff off of it. So, what is Romans 14.5 talking about? Okay, the context of Romans 14.5 is not saying we get to observe any custom we want regardless of its origins. The context of Romans 14.5 is talking about esteeming a day unto the Lord. Okay, Christmas has nothing to do with the Lord whatsoever. Okay, Romans 14 verse 5, uh, Romans 14.5, sorry, Romans 14 verse 5 to 9. I do apologize. I'm a little bit tired, so just bear with me. Uh, it's been a bit, of a, a bit of a rough couple days, but Romans 14 verse 5 to 9. Okay. The thing in context one man esteemeth one day above another another esteemeth every day alike let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind and they stop right there but they don't keep reading the the internet pastors from maine texas uh california florida and arizona who well, that's what i'm referring to uh, he that regardeth the day regardeth it unto the lord and he that regardeth not the day to the lord he to the lord he doth not regard it he that eateth eateth to the lord for he giveth god thanks and he that eateth not to the Lord he eateth not, and giveth God thanks. For none of us liveth to himself, and no man dieth to himself. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord, and whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. Uh, for to this end Christ both, both died and rose and revived, that he might be Lord, bo both of the dead and the li and living. Not good at reading, not good Peter, but... Okay, we need to make a distinction here because again, what we see in context is about esteeming it unto the Lord. Okay, it's not just talking about taking any kind of custom you want, regardless of its origins, and just slapping Jesus Christ on it, and therefore it's liberty because you're esteeming it unto the Lord. That's not at all what it's saying. That's totally butchering what the verse is saying. And when you read it in context, it refutes this. This, I mean, if you can just take any custom and just slap Jesus Christ on it, then then what's the harm in, in doing Halloween? If you just, you know, find some way to add Jesus to it. Hey, hey, why don't you, you know, observe some of the Muslim Muslim holy days, like Ramadan. Hey, if you just add Jesus to it, what's the big deal? It's liberty, right? Okay. What the, what the uh, internet pastors fail to understand is that there are holy days and holidays. The holy day is esteemed unto the Lord. And it's also ordained by the Lord, too. I'll just throw that out there as well. Uh, Exodus 12, verse 14. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial, and ye shall keep it a feast unto the Lord throughout your generations. Ye shall keep it a feast day by an ordinance forever. Exodus twelve forty two, It is a night to be much observed unto the Lord for bringing them out of the land of Egypt. That this that sorry, that this is that night of the Lord to be observed of all the children of Israel in their generations. It's being observed to the Lord. And ordained by the Lord as well. Zechariah seven verse four to six. Then came the word of the Lord, sorry, word of the Lord of hosts unto me, saying, Speak unto all the people of the land, and to the priests, saying, When ye fasted and mourned in the fifth and seventh month, even those seventy years, did ye all did ye sorry, did ye at all fast unto me, even to me? And when ye did eat, and when ye did drink, uh, did ye not, did ye, sorry, did not ye eat for yourselves and drink for yourselves? Interesting how it goes there. Uh, how it says, you know, you're doing it for yourself. Yeah, because that's really what it comes down to with a lot of this Christmas stuff. Is, you know, it's all just about emotion. You know, it's all about, oh, it makes me feel good, therefore I'm going to do it. But then you do it under the guise of, oh, I'm observing it unto the Lord. That's what you'll see. The internet passes from Maine or Arizona or Texas or, you know, all these other places doing. Yeah. Okay, and for those who would say that all oh, those verses are written to the Old Testament Jews, I'd say amen to that. But don't forget what Paul wrote in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15 to 17. It says, And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation, through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished, unto all good works. Okay. 
Keeping the Sabbath and feast days obviously is not required for Christians today, but in a context of instruction in righteousness, reproof, and correction, it shows that holy days were dedicated to the Lord and ordained by God. They were not just taking any custom they want and choosing regardless of its heathen origins and just adding God to it and therefore, oh look, see, it's a holy day. Plain and simple. Okay? Romans 14.5 in context is, has nothing to do with just taking any kind of custom you want and just slapping Jesus Christ on it. It's talking about esteeming it unto the Lord. Okay? Christmas has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. Christ Mass. You know, I find it funny how the uh, internet pastor from the state of Maine, how he's so vehemently against Roman Catholicism, and rightfully so, Roman Catholicism is of the devil, plain and simple. But he's so vehemently against it, yet he's so vehemently defend, uh, defensive of Christmas, which is blatantly a Catholic holiday. You know, Catholics are some of the biggest defenders. In fact, a lot of the arguments this internet pastor from the state of Maine will use to defend Christmas trees are literally arguments from Ro that Roman Catholics will use as well. Because guess what? The Roman Catholics do the Christmas tree thing as well. In fact, a lot of the Christmas customs are from Roman Catholicism, which they in turn borrowed from the, Gre the, the old Greco-Roman heathen religions. So he's, he's vehemently against everything Roman Catholicism except for Christmas. Plain and simple, the internet pastor from Maine. Then you got the internet pastor from Arizona, who is also, you know, a lot of the same arguments as well to, to, to uh, defend his pagan custom. So anyway, wanted to point that out. Don't be deceived by those who would use Romans 14, 5 out of context to defend liberty, you know, in, in terms of just taking any kind of heathen custom and just slapping Jesus Christ on it, because that's essentially what they're doing, plain and simple. And if that's if that's the case, if we're going to be consistent with that, then what's the, then really there's no, there's no reason why you can't celebrate Halloween. Just add Jesus Christ to it, plain and simple. So don't be deceived. Christmas is of the devil. Christmas is not Christian by any sense of the word, uh, because if it's Christian, it's Christ ordained which you cannot prove from scripture that Christ ordained yearly observance of his birth. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.